I'm Almitra Vaba. In this edition of City County Profile, I'm joined by April Vargas. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I was born in the East Coast in Providence, Rhode Island, which was a great place to grow up as a kid because there was snow. And I was young enough not to have to shovel sidewalks, but have a lot of fun sledding down a lot of hills. Yeah. And moved here when we were in the fifth grade to California. Mm -hmm. Did you move to the Bay Area? Yes, actually, we moved to the East Bay over in Hayward, where mm -hmm. I attended elementary, junior high, and high school. Mm -hmm. And um, was is there something specific in your background that really, was there a point where politics really captured your imagination? Well, there had always been lively political discussions in my family for as long as I can remember. Um, all my family members, my grandparents always read the newspaper, mm -hmm. and there was really a lot going on. Mm -hmm. at the time uh, and th so there were very animated discussions and my parents were always um, very enthusiastic to go vote mm -hmm. so I remember voting memories from a very young age. Yeah, You would go with them to the No, place? they would come home and yeah. say that they had gone to vote and how important it was that when I was an adult that I would have that privilege also. Mm -hmm. So do you remember the first time that you voted? Yes I do. Um, I lived in San Francisco at the time mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I remember. Oh, great. So it was sort of just an influence of your parents um, that drew you to politics? Well, what really drew me to politics was the possibility of working with a group of people mm -hmm. to actually uh, develop and then succeed on a project mm -hmm. and have a vision and then actually uh, be able to carry it through. That's great. So what draws you to the peninsula specifically? I came here when I was in college, mm -hmm. namely because it was such a beautiful place to live and was very fortunate to uh, live right on the coastline in mm -hmm. Moss Beach mm -hmm. when I first moved here and have stayed on the coastline ever since. And I've been here for 39 years. There's mm -hmm. such a unique uh, opportunity to be close to the San Francisco mm -hmm. and other big metropolitan areas, uh, but still be in an area that's so beautiful and has so many um, natural qualities. I just really liked it. So what's one of your favorite things um, in the peninsula? Oh, it's hard to say there's so many. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say uh, the coast, certainly, mm -hmm. and the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, the marine reserve, Pescadero mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Then also there's the redwoods in La Honda. Mm -hmm. And then there's beautiful, beautiful areas along the bay. Do you ever go camping in La Honda? I haven't camped there, but I've done a lot of hiking there over the years. It's very beautiful. So talk a little bit about your career. Well, I'm actually uh, self-employed. I've been a small business owner for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, learned a trade. I'm a trained upholsterer, and I've done furniture restoration work, and then expanded my business to include more interior decorating consultation, mm -hmm. window coverings, um, and different kinds of home designs that I create mm -hmm. and actually um, make myself. Uh, is there a room in someone's house that you really enjoy sort of redesigning? Actually, I had some friends who uh, built a house um, on a beautiful piece of property in Montera. Mm -hmm. And over a year and a half time period, we went through and uh, helped the, the homeowners select all the tile, the paint colors, mm -hmm. the carpets, all the furniture, and did some custom work there too. And so okay. it's always a real pleasure to go there and see what things additionally they've done mm -hmm. with accessories, new artwork on the walls. And it's just, it was a very successful project. So is there some specific things that prepared you for a career in politics? Actually, it's true that uh, I find interior decorating work has a lot in common with doing political work mm -hmm. in that you're working very closely with a group of people or uh, sometimes a very small group um, to develop an idea of what you want to do, mm -hmm. what it needs to do, why it's important, and then finding a way to get it done that's successful so that when we're finished, mm -hmm. we have a product or in the political world, either a policy or a way of doing things that's been very successful mm -hmm. and everyone feels that they've played an important role in getting something important accomplished. Are there some specific goals that you have in mind? Well, the first project that I worked on that was a big success was the Devil Slide Tunnels project mm -hmm. um, over in Montera. Talk a little and bit we, about that. Well, we were a small group of about 30 residents there that when the uh, 
road went out, as it has many times, but in 1995 it was out for over six months, mm -hmm. and there was a real push to get something done finally. Mm -hmm. So we decided that building a freeway through a state park was not the best way to get a safe road. So we banded together, collected signatures, over 30,000 signatures, to get a me measure uh, on the ballot. Mm -hmm. That was Measure T, and it passed by 74%. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, a huge victory for the community and for the county as a whole. Talk a little bit about some other things that you've done. Well, after we worked on that and successfully got the tunnel passed, and by the way, the, the actual project should be open in, by next year sometime, which is wonderful, yeah. um, we decided that it would be great to have the Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District, which is a public agency mm -hmm. that purchases and manages public land mm -hmm. for habitat pr preservation and also for public access, uh, to move the boundaries over to the coast. That was about a seven-year project. Um, I played a leading role in the leadership, um, working with the local agencies, working with members of the public um, to get a ballot measure passed, and then to actually go through all the regulatory and uh, different county department approvals, and we were able to get that done. Mm -hmm. So it's been great to help preserve agriculture, which is really important. Mm -hmm. And San Mateo County is one of the few counties left in the state that has active, small farm agriculture, and we really want to see that preserved. So the Open Space District is, is um, becoming a wonderful partner in making that happen. That's great. So what do you do for fun? For fun, actually, doing community work is fun for me. That's great. Uh, uh, we yeah. developed a lot of very close friendships mm -hmm. as a result of the tunnel campaign. Mm -hmm. Those are, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> those are people that I still see on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we certainly have social and recreational time too, but it's usually several times during an evening um, something about a community project or what we need to do will come up in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So when people are committed to improving things, uh, it just becomes uh, just very much a part of your life. So do you have other hobbies besides all the community work that you do? Actually, I have for a long time uh, been a potter. Uh, I throw pottery uh, on a wheel, uh -huh. but I've uh, actually taken a break from that right now because I'm involved in a lot of projects mm -hmm. that are taking a lot of my time. Mm -hmm. But that's been another great community, too, of mm -hmm. people that do ceramics work, and it's a great creative outlet and really a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds like fun. So. Talk a little bit about, you, you've talked a little bit about it, but talk a little bit more about how you think that this particular county is unique. San Mateo County has so much to offer mm -hmm. in terms of natural amenities. As I said earlier, uh, we have a coastline, we have wonderful mountains, we have redwood areas, and we have beautiful baylands. Mm -hmm. And it's very few places that have so much natural beauty and also um, a real commitment by the people that live in this county to preserve what we have mm -hmm. and then also really make the county the best it can be. Mm -hmm. We have a great uh, quality of life here and people volunteer and really devote a lot of their time to improving our schools. Mm -hmm. A lot of park volunteers I know mm -hmm. and people who really want to help others. Uh, people volunteering in the schools with senior citizen groups and it's very great to live in a place where people are so active, so involved and really appreciate all the wonderful things that we have here. So is there something in particular that you would like to be remembered for in all of the community work that you do? Is there one thing, you know, the double slide or the open, um, the open land? It, what is it that you really would like to um, be a reflection of you in the work that you do? Well, the fact that we all can believe that when a small group or a large group of people get together, there's no really no limit to what we can achieve, mm -hmm. but you have to have fun while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you have a lot of fun in what you do, so it's not just community work, it's work community work that you really enjoy. I tend to enjoy whatever it is I'm involved in, and the more fun you have, the more engaged other people become, mm -hmm. and it really becomes uh, efforts that people believe in and also really take to heart. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you're doing, you have to be enjoying it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of City County Profiles. Uh, I appreciate that you came in. Okay, well, it was my pleasure. Yeah, I'm Almitra Vaba, and that's this edition of City County Profile. Please join us next time.